Don, tell us a little bit about what inspired you, what compelled you to write this song in particular. I think there's a perception in people's minds that if an artist is living under the radar and not on television, not on uh, the front page of the paper or in the magazines, that we are somehow <laughs> dead <laughs> or that we've given up on our work when nothing could be further from the truth. You have to step away in order to do the work because for me, it all starts with a song. So I got tired of hearing that, you know, having people say, oh, you're still making music. And it partly grew out of that, partly grew out of just getting older, suddenly realizing that uh, I, I was suddenly the age my grandmother had been when I was born, suddenly realizing that I was the age my mother was when certain things happened, um, looking at my body and thinking, there's just so much I can do, you know? Uh, all the exercise and good eating and vitamins in the world won't, won't stop it. Mm. And going, that's all right. It's all right because the scars and the, the, yeah, the scars show that I've lived. Yeah, they tell your story. Yeah, is, is this really going to exactly. be your last studio album, Janice? Going to be my last solo studio album, yes, absolutely. Oh, well, that saddens us. You know, we have waited oh, well, thanks, a while Martin. for this one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, if you think about it, though, it really does start with a song for me. And if it starts with a song, there's got to be time to write songs. I've had these last 15 years to write these songs, especially during lockdown. I had the time and the luxury of writing things like The Light at the End of the Line and finishing them, finishing Nina. Uh, I don't know that I have 15 years of that kind of luxury coming. And I, I'd like to rewire myself, not retire, but rewire. I'd like to be able to walk on the beach without a cell phone, uh, <sighs> be able to take a week off from email. That's, yeah. that's something I haven't had now in several years, maybe a decade. I remember hearing once a great line about retirement and somebody who came out of retirement to go back to what they loved to do, which was broadcasting, and they said the problem with retirement is you don't get a day off. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but that's all right. That's all right. I don't mind that. Look, we're so used to you writing songs that deal with racial, societal, uh, political issues. Um, like Society Girl was one of those songs. Mm -hmm. At 17, we spoke about the rejection that it dealt with and the bullying. You're still writing such songs. Uh, on the album, uh, Resist, it talks about violence. It talks about all kinds of things like that. I, I, does it sadden you that you are writing a song like that in 2021, 2022? It saddens me that society's child about a black boy and a white girl is still so relevant. It saddens me that people still feel that at 17 is still so relevant. I, I really hoped a lot of those issues would be gone. It encourages me with a song like Resist when I see the audience stand up at the end and be chanting it with me and it's equally male and female. That encourages me because in the 60s, I don't think men realized uh, just how difficult things could be for a woman in, in male-dominated businesses like mine or like most. So it's a mixture of encouragement and discouragement. I, I said to somebody earlier today, um, I'm tired of fighting, you know. I, I have been through so many movements, women's movement and gay rights movement, civil rights movement. Um, it's enough. And yet here I am in America right now and we are seeing upheavals the like of which we have not seen in centuries. Mm. And then in terms of fighting those fights. In what way does music play a role in that? You know, you've been there for the onset of social media, seen how it can be used for, you know, activism. But in terms of music, do you think that transcends anything that social media can offer? Absolutely. I think that music is, well, music is the invisible art, right? It's the only art you can't see. You can't stop, you can't touch it. Music can unite an entire movement. Uh, if you look at what punk rock did here, if you look at what we shall overcome, one little song united a whole movement. Music is really dangerous. I mean, it's not for nothing that in, in his book, Plato calls for the artists to be thrown out first <laughs> because we're dangerous. We're supposed to be. No, we are supposed to challenge things mm. and push limits. Yeah, and disruptors. That's, and that's something that exactly. you've done throughout your career. 